The Confessions of St. Augustine, Book 10, Chapter 20 How then do I seek you, O Lord? For when I seek you, my God, I seek a happy life. I will seek you that my soul may live. For my body lives by my soul, and my soul by you. How then do I seek a happy life, seeing I have, I have it not, until I can say where I ought to say it, it is enough? How seek I it? By remembrance, as though I had forgotten it. Remembering that I had forgotten it, or desiring to learn it as a thing unknown, either never having known, or so forgotten it, as not even to remember that I had forgotten it? Is not a happy life what all will, and no one altogether wills it not? Where have they known it, that they so will it? Where seen it, that they so love it? Truly we have it, how I know not. Ye, there is another way, wherein one has it, then is, the ha is he happy. And there are who are blessed in hope. These have it in a lower kind than they who have it in very deed. Yet are they better off than such as are happy neither in deed nor in hope. Yet even these, had they it not in some sort, would not so will to be happy, which that they do will is more certain. They have known it then, I know not how, and so have it by some sort of knowledge, what I know not, and am perplexed whether it be in the memory, which if it be, then we have been happy ones, whether all severely, or in that man who first sinned, in whom also we all died, and from whom we are all born with misery. I now inquire not, but only whether the happy life be in the memory? For neither should we love it, did we not know it. We hear the name, and we all confess that we desire the thing. For we are not delighted with the mere sound. For when a Greek hears it in Latin, he is not delighted, not knowing what is spoken. But we, Latins, are delighted, as would he too, if he heard it in Greek, because the thing itself is neither Greek nor Latin, which Greeks and Latins and men of all other tongues long for so earnestly. Known therefore it is to all, for they with one voice be asked, would they be happy? They would answer without doubt, they would, and this could not be, unless the thing itself, whereof it is the name, were retained in their memory. Chapter 21 But is it so as one remembers Carthage who has seen it? No, for a happy life is not seen with the eyes, because it is not a body. As we remember numbers then? No, for these he has had, in his knowledge, seeks no, not further to attain unto, but a happy life we have in our la knowledge, and therefore love it, and yet still desire to attain it, and we may be happy. As we remember eloquence then? No. For although upon hearing this name also some call to mind the thing, who still are not yet eloquent, and many who desire to be so, when it appears that it is in their knowledge, yet these have by their bodily senses observed others to be eloquent, and been delighted, and desired to be the like, though indeed they would not be delighted, but for some inward knowledge thereof, nor wish to be the like, unless they were thus delighted. Whereas a happy life, we do by no bodily sense experience in others. 
as then we remember joy, perchance, for my joy I remember even when sad as a happy life when unhappy. Nor did I ever with bodily sense see, hear, smell, taste or touch my joy, but I experienced it in my mind when I rejoiced, and the knowledge of it clave to my memory so that I can recall it with disgust sometimes, at others with longing, according to the nature of the things, wherein I remember myself to have joyed. For even from four things have I been immersed in a sort of joy, which now recalling I detest and execrate. Otherwise in good and unharnessed things, which I recall with longing, Although perchance no longer present, and therefore with sadness, I recall former joy.